Welcome back to Scific Adventures, where science and imagination collide. What happens when the deadliest hunters are barely taller than a turkey, but built to kill with surgical precision? Today we step back 75 million years to uncover a predator whose size deceived everyone. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to like the video if prehistoric power fascinates you. A dusty moon hangs low over an ancient desert. The air is dry, silent. Then a flicker, movement against the rocks. A shape darts between the shadows, low, fast and watching, not tall, not imposing, but still terrifying. This isn't your Jurassic Park fantasy. It's real, it's alive. It's the Velociraptor, the original nightmare built not for size, but for speed, silence and surgical death. Long feathers ripple down its spine, catching moonlight like blades. It's not alone. Others move with it, intentional, practiced, like shadows rehearsing a deadly dance. What made them so efficient? It wasn't brute force, it was design. The Velociraptor's story isn't told in screams, it's etched into fossilized claws and serrated teeth. With a bite force over 1,000 PSI, it packed more pressure than a modern grizzly bear. Its jaw wasn't huge, but the teeth were spaced just right for slicing. Its most lethal tool, a sickle-shaped claw on each foot, sharp enough to pierce armor-like hides. They didn't need to be big. At under two feet tall and weighing 40 pounds, they were built to be fast, agile, and absolutely merciless. Their remains, uncovered in Mongolia and China, suggest they didn't hunt alone. The ground tells stories of coordinated kills and of prey too slow to make the dawn. There's even evidence they turned on each other when desperation set in. Hunger doesn't discriminate, neither did they. What natural feature made velociraptors especially terrifying during a hunt? A. Immense size B. High-pitched raw sea pack hunting tactics. D. Camouflage skin. Answer C. In 2008, paleontologists near the Jadokta formation stumbled on something strange half-buried bones, positioned awkwardly in a crevice. At first, it looked like a classic predator versus prey tableau, a velociraptor locked in a death grip with a protoceratops. But closer inspection revealed more. Claw marks on the canyon walls, a thin trail of feather impressions, and surrounding both skeletons, dozens of smaller prints. Too many for just one predator. What happened here? Was it an ambush, a fight gone wrong? Some believe it was a failed hunt, others think it was something darker, a pack turning on one of their own. The fossilized claw of another raptor was found buried in the attacker's rib. Legends don't survive in stone, but this one came close. Need a shirt that screams, I survive on chaos and talons? Check out the Scific Adventures merch store to where our clothes are 100% softer than Velociraptor skin and slightly less deadly. Imagine it, a humid night in the Cretaceous forest. The canopy sways gently, small creatures chirp, scurry, oblivious, then silence. A lone Velociraptor crouches in the underbrush. Its feathers damp from a recent rain. A thin steam rises from its nostrils. Its grey skin, slick spotted, blends seamlessly with the trees. It watches. A small rodent moves nearby, sniffing, scratching. The raptor doesn't pounce. Not yet. Behind it, two more shapes emerge. Silent, coordinated, they circle. Then a blur, a leap, a scream that ends before it begins. The kill is clean, not brutal, practiced. This wasn't survival, it was sport. Scientists believe velociraptors use their intelligence to strategize. Fossils show ambush patterns, not just opportunistic kills. They didn't react, they planned. In the Jadokta formation fossil find, what unusual element was discovered? A, a nest of eggs. B. Raptor prints surrounding a fossil fight. C. Footprints of herbivores only. D. Weapons from early humans. Answer B. What turned the Velociraptor from a clever predator into a pop culture icon? In 1993, Spielberg gave us a monster. Six feet tall, razor-toothed, door-opening terror. But the reality was different. Smaller, feathered, arguably smarter. The legend wasn't wrong, it just wasn't complete. 
What the movies missed was the subtlety. Real velociraptors didn't roar, they likely hissed. They didn't sprint through open fields. They stalked, waited, and struck when it mattered. Their strength wasn't size, it was intelligence. Modern birds, from crows to parrots, show impressive reasoning skills. Now imagine one of those birds, with claws and a motive. We're not looking at monsters, we're looking at the early drafts of tactical killers. And the scary part, they were just getting started. Deep in the heart of what is now Mongolia, a dried-up basin once buzzed with life and death. Herds of protoceratops, lizards and early mammals made their homes here, but it wasn't a safe place. The Velociraptor didn't just hunt in the shadows, it ruled the ecosystem from below the radar. Dig sites here reveal bones picked clean, not gnawed, not crushed, sliced, scored, clean incisions in fossilized ribs and joints, like nature's autopsy. Some prey showed signs of being stalked across long distances, others ambushed during a drink, dragged back into brush, never seen again, until paleontologists brushed sand off their graves. This was no clumsy predator. The raptor's world was calculated, brutal and efficient. They weren't just feeding, they were perfecting the art of the kill. The sun sinks behind red cliffs, the heat fades, replaced by a dry wind that whispers across the stones. Night is when the valley changes, when silence becomes a weapon. Small mammals scurry into their burrows, the air tenses. Then movement, soft, barely audible. A velociraptor appears, almost materializing from the rock. It sniffs the air, one eye glints like obsidian, it's searching not out of hunger, but out of instinct. This land, littered with bones and half-buried remains, is a memory palace. Every scent tells a story. It crouches near a pile of remains, bones stripped, clawed, fractured. Its own past kill, no, older, it snorts, moves on because in the valley of bones only one law matters, never slow down, never get caught because someone else is always watching. What made the Velociraptor so deadly wasn't muscle. It was mindset. Studies of cranial cavities, tiny fossilized brain cases, show a surprisingly large cerebrum, especially in areas associated with problem solving and coordination. This wasn't a creature that relied on brute force. It calculated, hunted with purpose, communicated with others through posture, maybe even sound. Birds of prey today, like hawks and owls, exhibit similar neurological traits. They plan, adapt, outsmart, The Velociraptor had forward-facing eyes. That's binocular vision, depth perception built for judging distance and speed. Combine that with speed, agility and lethal claws, you're not looking at a dumb predator. You're staring into the eyes of one of the first tactical hunters in Earth's history. And lucky for us, they're long gone, right? Thanks for venturing back in time with Sky Fic Adventures. The Velociraptor might not have been the towering movie monster we imagined, but it was something even scarier. A predator with a plan. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments. What prehistoric terror should we tackle next? And remember, evolution never sleeps. Somewhere in a museum drawer or a desert cliff, the next discovery is waiting with claws.